is desiring to to bring that forth and so uh, again we we welcome you in the name of Jesus uh, tonight we're going to continue uh, with our the series on walking in the supernatural and and tonight uh, the message that is going to be brought forth is has already impacted our lives it's already made a difference in in our daily walk uh, with the Lord and so I pray that your hearts will be open and and sensitive to the Holy Spirit tonight and that that you will hear what the Spirit would say into you uh, you know as we go through uh, up through that threshold and through the door uh, of the new level that God has for each one of us uh, then we draw close to him uh, we draw closer to the Lord and this is the time uh, saith the Lord that that you are to draw close to me and stay by my side for I will never leave you I will never forsake you uh, I will lift you up I will uphold you with my mighty right hand saith the Lord and he said do not turn to the left do not turn to the right but I say unto you rise up and be with me rise up and stay with me oh hallelujah lord we want to stay with you tonight we want to stay in your presence we want to worship you we want to adore you hallelujah praise the name of jesus and I, i'm going to ask uh, i'm going to ask cindy if she'll bring us before the lord tonight in prayer cindy will you do that Well, Lord, we just thank you for tonight. We thank you, Lord, for the message that you burned into Fred and Sherry's hearts. Lord, we just declare right now that we are eager to receive. Thank Lord, you. that we're doers of the word, that we're going to receive with gladness the word implanted in us that is able to save our souls. Yes. Lord, we thank you for just fellowshipping among us. Uh, we just thank you, Holy Spirit, for uh, moving among us and, and bringing forth that you want us to hear what you want us to receive, what you want us to act on. And we just give you praise and thanksgiving. We love you, Lord. We thank you yeah. for, for loving us. We thank you, Lord, for this mighty group of people. In amen. Jesus' name, amen. 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 Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll let, I'll, I'm going to turn it over to Brother Fred. He can tell you uh, uh, the title of the of, of the message tonight. And, uh, and so I'll just turn it over to him. The title of the message tonight is Redeeming the Time. Uh, before I introduce it, I want to tell you a story from the Bible. And there was a man, his name was Saul, and in the New Testament, and he persecuted the disciples of Jesus Christ. He persecuted Jesus. He uh, breathed out murderous threats against people, uh, dragging them out of their homes and putting them in shackles and and carrying them off to be punished and then and that was all in uh uh acts uh nine and then in first timothy 1 15 uh, he said i am the greatest sinner of all mm. oh he, he was a bad guy he, he mm. was a real bad guy i am the chief of all sinners and then he makes another statement after his name's uh of course he becomes the apostle paul and he makes this statement in second corinthians chapter 7 verse 2 receive me uh in your hearts because i have wronged no man oh goodness wait a minute he's a chief he's sinner. A sinner he's been persecuting the disciples of jesus he's been persecuting jesus and now he says it's all been wiped away all but where'd he go i, I am I have wronged no one. Mm -hmm. I've taken advantage of no one. Hallelujah. There's a change. The time had been redeemed. Do you want to know how you can redeem your time? To change what has gone on in the past? God uh, looks at time yeah. differently, differently than we do. God, in the beginning, 
See, he has always existed before there was time and before there was space. And then there came a time that he created time and space. He created the universe. And with mm. time, uh, he began to mark uh, things by time. First day, mm -hmm. second day, third day. These are the things that he was creating. And then on the seventh day, he ceased from his work. Oh, hallelujah. And he sanctified time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For a, he set it apart for a purpose. So time is very important to God. He created it. It's a gift. It's a gift for you. And, and sometimes we misuse our time, mm -hmm. but we can redeem the time. Ephesians uh, chapter 5 uh, verses 15 and 16 says walk circumspectly be wise mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, for uh, redeeming the time for the days, days are, are evil. evil it said you're going to encounter some evil things but I'm going to show you how to redeem time Woo! so Glory! that like Paul although you were the greatest sinner he was the greatest sinner he could still say, I have wronged no one. I've taken advantage of no one. Things mm -hmm. change. Mm -hmm. Jesus came to restore all things. Hallelujah. We're going to be talking about that. Today, this is a basic message mm -hmm. to walk in the supernatural realm. See, to walk in uh, the natural realm, you look by sight. You go by sight. But we walk by faith, faith and not, not by, by sight. sight. So not what we've seen, not not what we see today, not what we saw that yesterday. Well, mm. If you look at uh, Saul's life, you look at his past, that there was a lot of evil in it. He created a lot of evil. He he harmed people. And yet there was a, a time that he could say, God's made it, restored it all. Hallelujah. I can look back over my past and say, I have wronged no, no one. Man. I've taken advantage of no one. I've corrupted no one. Hallelujah. Wouldn't you like to be able to say that about yourself? Well, that's what this message is about. It's to show you how time can be redeemed. Now that message, redeeming the time, that verse, and it's also in Colossians 4, of course, in verse 5. So it's there in those two verses. <clears throat> but let me say that a lot of modern translations just say seize the opportunities uh take uh, and so it's focusing on that but that's not what it literally says literally and young's literal translation and uh, seven uh, 16 other translations say redeeming the time <laughs> so don't get don't get off and say oh I, it's just about taking opportunities or when they come along it's not about that that's not what the verse is saying it's saying redeeming the time. So we know that there have been things in the past uh, that have been evil. Evil things have happened to all of us in the past. And I'm going to show you tonight how you can redeem time, possess, take, regain mm -hmm. possession of what was lost in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Regain possession of what was lost in your life. Okay, so I'm going to have to lay out this fundamental message. This is a message we need to know. And it has so many more implications, and we'll get into those later. But tonight, it's just the basic message. Uh, just So just open up your heart mm -hmm. and, and receive what the Lord is sharing with us and, and see how you can apply it in your life. But there's much, much more to it. But to walk in the supernatural... You have to know about time. Time is very important. To God, who gave you the gift of time, he lives outside of time. Mm -hmm. But he also is with you in time. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Glory, glory, glory. And so we are to think about time like God thinks about time. See, if we think about time like God thinks about time, we can restore all things, <laughs> all things related to your time path. What has happened to you in the past? I, I know we've all been hurt. We've all we've all suffered trauma. You know, there was a time in my life that I thought, well, I'd look at uh, Luke four eighteen, and Jesus said, "I've come to heal the brokenhearted." 
And, and I thought, well, that's not me. But I tell you, years ago, I just laid that all down and accepted I, I have been the broken hearted. I am mm -hmm. the broken hearted and I need Jesus to restore things. I mean, and he's restored things. And I'll just give you a few uh, things. I, I've been uh, bucked off a horse. I've been uh, gored, gored, by, gored a by a bull. I've been in as a child, um, uh, multiple car accidents and and uh, I've lost uh, uh, my, when I was 12, I lost my 17 year old brother when he was uh, from suicide. I when I was 27, I lost my mother. Uh, to suicide. To suicide, she was 54. And so, yes, I am the broken heart. I just come here and, and I just realized that, you know, years ago and, and gave it all to the Lord. And I want to tell you, he has restored all things. And so I want to talk about Hallelujah. that. How do we redeem? time okay so let's start with god then and to say that uh god has written a story about you he mm -hmm. has written a story uh, about you and i'm going to ask sherry to read us some verses to get started here on this the first one is psalms 139 verse 16 this is out of the new american standard your eyes have seen my formless substance and in your book were written all the days that were ordained for me, when as yet there was not one of them. Okay, so what it says here is that God has written a story about you. He's written all of your days. They're all written. And uh, when we go down to uh, Je uh, Jeremiah 29 and 11, we'll see a little bit more about the story. Let's do Jeremiah. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for prosperity and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Okay, so what that says, this story that he has written about you is his plan. He mm -hmm. has a plan for you. It's every day, every year of your life. It's all laid out. That's his plan, okay? And he is the alpha and the omega uh, of, of his plan. Of your plan. Yes. He's the beginning. Jesus is the alpha and the Omega, that's the beginning and the end. So when you look at your storyline, that's your plan. That's God's plan for you. At the begin, it begins with Jesus and it ends with Jesus. Woo! Glory! Uh, that's pretty exciting. Now, even when Jesus came to the earth, we see here from Hebrews, I'm going to ask Sherry to read uh, Hebrews 10. Uh, and we see he had to find his story. Hebrews 10, 7. Then I said, behold, I have come. It is written of me in the scroll of the book to do your will, O oh God. Okay. So God wrote a story about you. It's his plan for your life. It's a day by day. Uh, uh, everything is laid out and you have to find it. And your story is in the book. And just like Jesus uh, had to find his story in the book, in other words, what God it intended for him to do. It's all written in the Bible, and it's what God has written for you. It's all what God has written in your story. It's all in the Bible. Now, it's a plan. It's a it's a day by day plan. Of what we should do over our lifetimes it begins with Jesus, ends with Jesus. But you know, Ephesians five back there that we mentioned earlier says there's evil in. Okay, so that when the evil comes, it knocks you off your timeline, mm -hmm. knocks you off your storyline. Uh, it, and it, it is the evil that we do, that our sin, that knocks us off our planned uh, pathway. Mm -hmm. And other people can knock you off your pathway uh, by the evil that they do in your life um, and, and just evil things that happen. And so you can be knocked off of that storyline, but Jesus came to restore all things to put you back on your pathway. Amen. Oh, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and this is Luke 4, uh, verses 18 and 19, which I mentioned earlier. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release but our liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind to set free those who are oppressed, to proclaim, listen to this, yes. the favorable year of the Lord. Okay, so 
Jesus has proclaimed the favorable year of the Lord over you. Every year, year of your God. life has been the favorable the year, year of the Lord. Lord. Amen. And every year yet to come in your life is the favorable year of the Lord. Now, evil comes to knock you off of that plan. But what happens? Jesus comes to restore. Ooh, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. hallelujah. And, and, and see, when you get when you get knocked off of your pathway, then you get captive to other kinds of things. What did Jesus do? He comes to set the captive captives free. free. And, and he and, and we get knocked off of the pathway. And, and so we, we get lost. And so what did Jesus do right there in those verses? Mm -hmm. He came to restore our sight. So, we're, hallelujah, we're, so we're, we'll see where we're going. Yeah, we, we can see our pathway. Get oh, back on the hallelujah. Pathway. This message is about getting back on the pathway. Woo! And the bottom line is you've got to restore your past. You've got to heal your past in order to fulfill your destiny. Your destiny hallelujah. is still out there, but you've got to heal your past. You have to deal with past issues. And there's a lot of different ways to deal with them. But we're going to be focusing primarily tonight on one way of restoring what has been broken, what has been damaged, mm -hmm. what and, and retrieving. Jesus has come to retrieve that which is lost, to restore that which is lost. And to restore that time unto you. Okay. Paul could write, even though he was the greatest sinner of all, that's the way he had viewed himself. He could write, I have wronged no man. I have corrupted no one. Oh, wow. I have taken advantage of no, no one. one. Do you want to say that? You, see, if you can deal with these past issues, ask Jesus to deal with these past issues. I mean, God is outside of time, but he's with time. So let's just look at some attributes of God. God is all-knowing. Mm -hmm. Amen. He is all-powerful and present everywhere. Amen. Okay? So God has written a story about you, but he's also written a story about billions and billions of other people. And God is outside of their time. He's not limited to their time, but he can see in their time. Ooh, glory. Mm. First of all, mm. 1 John 3.20 says God knows all things. That means God knows everything. God knows what you had for breakfast today. He knew what you had for breakfast 10 years 10 ago. 10 years ago. He doesn't have to remember what you ate 10 years ago. He doesn't have to remember what you did 10 years ago. He can see it all now. Mm, he hallelujah. knows mm. all things mm, mm. he can see what you're going to do in 10 years and he can take you there show it to you he can bring you back here and you can declare it and you can walk into your mm, destiny mm, you've already mm. seen it see abraham saw well, Jesus's, Jesus's day, day and rejoiced, rejoiced in, in it. it hallelujah mm. this is a basic message mm -hmm. <laughs> Open your heart. Open your mind. This is a basic message. You need to know this message. You will be able, your prayers will be more effective. You can change what has happened in the past. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Mm, mm. And influence your future oh, today. Hallelujah. today. Hallelujah. You can see your future mm, mm. and you can bring it into. You can fashion your future. Hallelujah! You must heal the past in order to fulfill everything feet. that mm -hmm. God has for you in the future. In the man. Well, the basic the message. Message. God knows all things. Hallelujah. 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 God is all powerful. Yes. Job said in Job 42 2, God can do all things. All things. Does that get you excited? Amen. God knows everything. Amen. God can do all things. And uh, Luke 137, nothing is impossible with, with God. God. Amen. Amen. All things are possible with God. God can do all things. God is all powerful. Hmm. Hallelujah. There's another one. 
God is everywhere. He's everywhere at once. <laughs> everywhere at oh, once. Yes, I mean. He's all everywhere now. Woo! Glory. Hallelujah. He lives outside of time. He's written your story. Mm -hmm. He's outside of your time. <coughs> but See? he can be in our time. But he can invade your time mm -hmm. and change mm -hmm. things in mm -hmm. your time. He oh, can, I love it. I love it. He mm. can change your time. He can restore things that have happened in the past, mm. that you've been injured and you've been diminished because of things that have happened in the past. And Jesus came to restore all things. Do you think that anything is impossible with God? Okay, now let's look at the thought that Jesus can just show up in your timeline at any time. Mm -hmm. He can. You know, oh, hallelujah. Nebuchadnezzar hallelujah. bound up three men Woo! and put hallelujah. them in the fiery furnace. And then he jumped up and said, Woo! I see the Son of God's in there. Well, because why? Because Jesus showed up. Amen. Why? Because Jesus wasn't supposed to come in uh, until the New Testament. And right. then we see, right. see his birth in the New Testament, but he could show up in time, anytime. anytime. Glory to God. This is a basic, Hallelujah. This is a basic message. Your prayers are going to be more effective after today. This is a basic message. God oh, well, is outside of time, but he is looking at your timeline. And not only that, oh, Psalm 33 says he lives in a high and holy place, but he looks at the inhabitants of man. He sees all of the mm -hmm. sons of man. Mm -hmm. So he's up here in eternity outside of time, but he sees your storyline and he sees everybody else's storyline, billions and billions of people. Psalm 46. Mm -hmm. Psalm 46 says he's already helped to mm -hmm. any of those, yeah. those billions and billions of people and the uh, and all of those days, all of those stories, he's already help wherever oh, wherever he's needed. It, it, is he needed in your in your life? Mm. Is he needed today? Was he needed uh, some time ago and you didn't ask for him? Well, you can ask today. He can invade your life. Yes, hallelujah. He can invade your storyline mm. and restore, redeem. Oh, He's hallelujah, the redeemer. hallelujah. He's the redeemer. Jesus Ooh, is, the, is redeemer. the redeemer. My redeemer lives. Hallelujah. Nothing, nothing is impossible with him. All things are possible. Perhaps you need something redeemed from the past. You know, we're supposed to have, to have glory at our conception. Mm -hmm. And when we were in our mother's womb, we were supposed to have glory there. Ooh, did, did you hallelujah. receive all of that glory? Oh, Jesus. It, there in your conception, you might think, well, I I, I was born a way that I, I, I wished I hadn't. I had something... There was glory promised you at conception, and there was glory promised you throughout the womb, throughout the time you were in the womb. And if you didn't receive it then, if you didn't receive that glory, you can receive it today. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Perhaps evil has knocked you off of the path. Mm -hmm. Whether it's your evil or evil of other people or, or whatever, if it knocked you off, it, it diminished you. Jesus can redeem and Hallelujah. regain. You can regain what was lost. See, what I, why this is so important is that you can have a better today. Yes, amen. Then all of the events that have led up here would cause you to think you can have. Because, see, a miracle is God invading the natural yeah, situation yeah, natural environment amen and what are we to be praying we're to pray that heaven mm -hmm. invade earth. earth amen your will be done on earth it as it, it is, is in, in heaven. heaven your kingdom come on earth hallelujah and there's no time in heaven there's no time up there and let me ask you this question where are you where are you seated you have been seated it's in heavenly, heavenly places, places with christ hallelujah the land of the father you are outside of time, and yet you have a storyline in time. Then that storyline begins with Jesus, and it ends, ends with, with Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo, you glory. Got, you got a good expected end. That's the plan. That's God's plan for you. 
God is everywhere. He's with billions and billions of people. He's ready to answer every one of them. That's the reason he can hear every prayer and answer every prayer. And, and don't think, oh, he, he doesn't know about me and my, my situation. <laughs> he knows everything. Amen. Amen. He can change things. He's all powerful. He is present everywhere. Glory. Hallelujah. God. He doesn't have to look at your past to remember what you did. Mm -hmm. He can see it today. You know, uh, Psalm 157 says, I dwell in a high and holy place. This is God speaking. He said, I dwell in a high and holy place, but I also dwell. Oh, he's dwelling more Hallelujah. than one place. I dwell in a high and holy, holy place. place. That's eternity, but I also dwell with the contrite and lowly oh, in spirit. So I dwell up there and I dwell down here and I dwell in your storyline. I'm always in your storyline. Now, don't think that he'll ever leave you or forsake you because he's present everywhere. How could he leave you? He's present everywhere. Well, I have a testimony. All right. Well, let's, let's get a testimony. Hallelujah. Because I said that this message had already impacted our lives. And I just want to give a quick testimony here. Um, I went through lots of trauma situations in my childhood. And one in particular, um, and, and this relates to exactly what Freddie said, that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Uh, but I was afraid of the darkness. And, and when I was smaller or young, I would cry a lot. And this irritated my mother. And, and I guess she was very frustrated with me. And, and so one night, uh, I couldn't, I wouldn't stop crying. And so she packed a little suitcase for me and she put me on the back porch and locked the door. And it was at night, it was in the darkness. And that has been with me up until just a few days ago when I asked the Lord to go back and be in that place where I was on that back porch in the dark uh, with a little suitcase sitting by me. And I said, Lord, invade that time and bring healing into my life. And you know what he said to me? He said, I was always with you for I will never leave you nor forsake you. And that's exactly, and that took that trauma from me. And it just, it just went. It was like, there it was. And then it was not there any longer. And so I'm telling you that this message will set you free. It will set you free and set you on a pathway that will cause you to go towards your destiny and the purpose of God. It will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, let me give you a, a story. Uh, when I was a little boy, I had a dog, and his name was Brownie, and I had a, a brother that was five years older than me, and we always would play outside, and we'd uh, wrestle and, and uh, play on the grass, and one night, I'm thinking in particular uh, that uh, we were just wrestling and rolling back and forth uh, uh, across the yard, wrestling and fighting, and just having a good time, and and all of a sudden, Brownie jumps up and runs over there and starts barking beside us. And uh, there's a rattlesnake there. And the rattlesnake bites Brownie uh, right above the eye. I, remember, I still remember it. And, uh, uh, but that rattlesnake could easily have bit, bitten uh, my brother or me because we were right there, uh, right around that rattlesnake. And the rattlesnake was uh, very alert and very... Uh, defensive of his territory mm -hmm. and uh, uh, my dad wasn't there and so my mother called my, my granddad whom we call papa and papa came down with a, a gun yeah. but he couldn't tell because it's so dark at that time he could see the snake but he didn't know which was his head or tail and so he shot off both his head and his tail <laughs> and so that was a dead snake but but it was because of brownie but brownie see brownie took a rattlesnake back I took it right above his eye. I can still see that place. And, and you know, uh, I was thinking about uh, Brownie on uh, Friday. We were uh, over at uh, uh, Sister Becky's house, and she was going to minister. 
that morning, and uh, I was thinking about Brownie and the, and the trauma that I experienced as a little boy, uh, thinking about some of the things that had happened to Brownie, and I know he he uh, wanted to be courageous and helpful around me and protect me, and uh, and there he, he took that rattlesnake bite, and, and I was just thinking about that, that that was a trauma for me, and uh, and so I was thinking about that just before uh, the message began, before Sister Becky uh, began to minister on Friday. And, uh, and, and she went just a few minutes into her uh, message and, and she said, Is, does someone have an issue about a dog? And nobody answered. And, I, and, and in a little while, I mean, I had to ponder it because this wasn't a dog I had now. I, I thought we were, maybe somebody had a sick dog or something. No. <laughs> But it was an issue about a dog that I'd been thinking about. And so I said, wait a minute, I, I, I missed Scott. I, I should have said I was the one. I had the issue about the dog. And the issue was that I had uh, traumatic experiences by what he suffered, what my little dog Brownie had suffered um, protecting me. And uh, and I said, I know God is about to do something. Here. Yes, I mean, he, he's about to heal the trauma that I experienced because the little dog, Brownie, took a rattlesnake bite to save me. Hallelujah. And that had, that had always har hurt me, always hurt my heart that he had to take that rattlesnake bite uh, for me. And, and so God healed my heart right there. Oh, hallelujah. I, I God hallelujah. Was with he, he didn't, he's never left me. He's never forsaken me. He was with me. And he healed my heart. Jesus Amen. said, Amen. I've come to heal the broken heart. Hallelujah. That was yeah. that day. That's Friday. That was just, uh, just yeah, yeah. a couple of days ago. Jesus Thank you, comes Jesus. to heal the broken heart. Think about the times that you've suffered. Suffered wrong. Or, or, or perhaps you've even um, missed the mark. You know, that's what sin is. Sin is, you, you've got a pathway. And that's a plan. And, and when you sin, you miss the mark. And and perhaps you've missed the mark at times. And, you know, you lay your burdens down. You ask for forgiveness and, and, and repent and, and turn toward God. And, and he redeems. He redeems. Hallelujah. He regains your possession. Whoa, hallelujah. Put you back hallelujah. on the path. Amen. Amen. That's what it's all about. And, and so when you think about things that people have done to you, hurt you, harmed you, you can be restored tonight jesus amen. came amen all things are possible to you Hallelujah. he knows your storyline mm. he knows mm. he sees it he doesn't have to guess about oh this is what's going to happen to you in 10 years he sees it and he can show you what's going to be because the holy spirit shows you all things shows you things to come he will show that's what i meant to say jesus i mean the holy spirit see yes and sent you to show you things to come amen. he'll show you amen. down the road 10 years he'll show you your story where is your story yes. it's in the bible Hallelujah. you have to find it you have to seek for it and, and the holy spirit will show you your story i come to do your will over yes see your story is doing his will that's the plan and when we get off track, then Jesus is here to restore us, Hallelujah. put us back on the path so that we can fulfill our destiny. This is a basic message tonight. I hope you get a hold of it. Yes, we'll, yes, it'll be yes, up on yes, YouTube yes. tomorrow. It'll yes. be on the you, Kingdom Jesus. Leadership Training tomorrow. If you need to look at it again, it's going to make you more powerful in God. And in the things of God and in the supernatural realm, this Amen. will help Amen. you walk in the supernatural realm because you're a spiritual person. You're a citizen of heaven. You've been seated in heavenly places. You're not a mere human being walking in this world. That's right. Jesus said to his disciples, and that's you and me, he said they're in the world, but they're not, they're not of, of the world. world. They don't Amen. belong to the world because Hallelujah. I have Hallelujah. raised them up far above all principality and power, dominion and all darkness and wickedness. And I've seen it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is at my own right hand. Hallelujah. Thank you for being Hallelujah. here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, this message is a is a message of comfort and hope that we can go to the Lord, ask him to invade our past, 
we can ask him to show us our future. All we have to do is communicate with him. And, you know, that's the, the, the starting of this session tonight. The Holy Spirit uh, began to minister and say to all of us to stay close to the Lord. To, to, to rest by him, to come to him, uh, to be part of him. And, and so I believe as we draw closer to the Lord, he says that he's going to draw close to us. And that there'll, there'll be no no emptiness there'll there'll be no gaps in our existence and i know that's straight from my belly right there that there will be no gaps in in our existence uh, that we're not just here to live each day in a routine manner get up brush our teeth go to work come home uh, eat our supper go to bed take a bath you know those things are uh, those things are temporary things but what we're talking about tonight are eternal things things that will promote you and elevate you to the next level and cause you to do the will of the lord Amen. and um and i know that's our desire i'm going to open up the floor before you do tell them how you found your story in the book right well i was um born again at age nine and it was shortly after that that i was reading in my little bible and uh mark 16 just jumped out at me i mean it was like it was just right there in front of me and it had come off the page and it said go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature and i said you know that's me that's me and i was raised uh southern baptist and my mother would take me to, uh, it was called Women's Missionary um, Auxiliary or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, they she would take me to those meetings and they would have missionaries come and, and talk about their travels and, and what they had done in foreign countries. And I would sit there at age 11 and 12 and I would cry. And my mother would scold me for crying she'd say you know what in the world is wrong with you and but I knew in my heart that I was called to the nations I knew in my heart that I was called to all people and so uh that was that was the first one and then later on uh in my Christian life Acts 1 uh 8 where it says you know that the spirit will come upon you and you'll be my witness uh that that um, just ignited my heart and caused my heart to burn on the inside of me. And, uh, and then there's been many other scriptures and that he has shown me uh, that said, this is who you are. This is who you are. And, um, and the story of Deborah. Uh, one day I was reading about Deborah and Barak and in the book of Judges. And, and that's when he put in my heart that I was that I was a, a a warring prophetess, and that I would go into battle with other people. I would go into places where nobody else wanted to go, and would bring people out and and and, and bring them to the Lord. And so, you know, just just get into the Word and and ask Him to show you who you are. Who am I, Lord? And show me what you want me to do. And uh, he'll be glad to do that because he's just waiting. He's waiting for us to do that. And um, and so he'll restore your, your past. He'll be in your present where you are right now. And he will go into your future with you. And he will show you your future. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm going to open up the floor. And I believe that someone has a song in their spirit. And uh, if the if the Lord has put a song in your spirit, uh, could you go ahead and and sing? Just unmute yourself and sing that song for us right now. I truly believe that the river is flowing right now. Let's get into the river. Let's get into the river and flow with the Holy Spirit. I've prayed that over this session tonight that we would be one in the Spirit, that we would flow in the Spirit. And uh, this is not about one in particular person. But this is about, about just flowing with the Lord tonight. 
So if you have a song, uh, please, this is the time uh, to, to bring that forth in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, I always have a song. I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> and the one Sing that we, when you mentioned it, well, I said, Lord, did, did, what do you have a song? What you want? You wanted me to do a song? And, and it came out just, just very strong and plain. Onward, Christian soldiers, marching as to war, with the cross of Jesus going on before. Amen. Beautiful. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I've got the Jack. flowing out of me. <laughs> Makes the lane to walk. Me. Opens up the doors and lets the cap is free. And I've got a river of life flowing out of me. Amen. 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 Brother Jack. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I just, I just have a quick word um, that God put this thing here, um, but it just said that the world would say that we are defined by our experiences, but the truth is that we have a divine purpose and we're defined by God's plan for us, that if we allow him, he becomes a painter and an artist, and as we tune into the Holy Spirit, he will begin <coughs> On our canvas which is why even though bad things have happened there is forgiveness there is healing there is newness and this is how he begins to make beauty from ashes amen, amen. thank you amy elizabeth thank you Woo. Praise, the praise the name of jesus praise the name of jesus hallelujah beautiful. hallelujah someone else what do you have from the lord tonight do you have a revelation? Do you have a vision? Do you have a scripture? Come on, let's jump in the river tonight. Hallelujah. I just to share if I could share one that um it it I mean it, it's it came to me the other night when I woke up during the middle of the night. And uh, but anyway, it's definitely for today. Okay. Don't worry that you are in a trial of fire or heated situations. And uh, then it says uh, from 1 Peter 4, 12 and 13, friends, when life gets really difficult, don't, and this is where the victory is, don't jump to the conclusion that God isn't on the job. <laughs> and did. Wow. Not amen, amen, amen. Did glad that you were in the very thick of what Christ experienced. Yes. Hallelujah. This spiritual refining process with glory just around the corner. Hallelujah. Then the next part of it says, when refining takes place, it removes all the impurities so the pure can shine through. Amen. Amen. Up your eyes to where your help comes from. And then <laughs> Psalms 121 says, I look up toward the mountains. Where can I find my help? Amen. My help comes from the Lord, yes, the maker amen. of heaven and earth. Amen. He will not let you fall. Your guardian will not, wow, your guardian <laughs> will not fall asleep. Instead, the guardian of Israel never rests or sleeps. The Lord is your guardian. The Lord is the shade over your right hand. The sun will not beat you down, will not beat down on you during the day, nor will the moon at night. The Lord guards you from every evil. He guards your life. The Lord guards you as you come and go now and forever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I have a word for Michelle Cannon. Um, and Michelle, 
uh, the, the Lord would say unto you that he's putting eye drops in, in your eyes, both of your eyes. And he says, you're only going to see what I'm doing. He says, you're going to give me glory because your eyes are focused only on me. And you're going to see me high and lifted up. And, and my, the, you're going to see my glory fill your temple. You're going to see uh, the, the purpose and the plan that God has for you. You're going to see into the future and you're going to rejoice uh, just like Abraham did uh, seeing the day of Jesus. But you're going to see your end and you're going to rejoice in it. Oh, Thank hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. That, that may not be the end of that word. If somebody else has a, the, the finishing of that word, hallelujah. Thank you, hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. That's the first part of that word. Who has the second part? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're waiting on the second part. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Just release that word. Father, I thank you for releasing it. Becky. Thank you, Lord. For my daughter, I would say to you, I only have eyes for you, my child. Mm -hmm. I have eyes, um, eyes that are full of love for you. Um, my eyes are over you and my eyes see your commitment. They, they see your heart and, and I have plans for you that I am opening your eyes to see Amen. and to lead you and to guide you. And, and you're going to run through a troop. You're going to leap over a wall because now you've got some eyesight to see hmm. uh, things that I am doing and how I'm ordering your steps. Amen. And, and so those things that have been blocking your vision, all you're going to be saying now, oh, how sweet it is. How yeah. sweet hallelujah, it is hallelujah. that I can see what my God has had for me. Woo! Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 So, someone else, share with us tonight. Oh, I got something. So, go ahead. Okay, uh, Wayne. I, I love it when God confirms a thing. Uh, I was sowing grass seed the day before yesterday, and me and the Lord had this long conversation about what Pastor Fred talked about tonight. <laughs> and and his, one of the things that, that he told me, he says, but he had a story written for every person who had ever been born. <laughs> they said the problem is that most people look for their story to fulfill it somewhere else. Oh, wow. And he said it was his people's uh, uh, assignment, a part of their assignment was to help them to find his story, introduce them to him, so that they could walk in the path that he had planned for them. That was the first confirmation. Okay. Uh, yesterday, uh, I heard one of the prophets say this. He said, we're living in a moment of time to where the past kisses the future. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. And he says, <laughs> we're at that moment in time in the in-between where we can redo, redeem the past and pull from the future. And so you know, this, this, this confirmation of everything you've said tonight. Wow. Beautiful, Wayne. Way to go, Wayne. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's beautiful. Beautiful conversation with the Lord. Amen. Well, we agree with that. Yeah. And we know what, what a difference it's made already in, in our prayers, the way we pray, and um, in, in what we're responding to uh, here on this earth. And so, does someone else have something? All right, Becky? 
Um, I, I do have a word, and this is this is for the group. Okay. And, um, when Brother Fred is bringing this forth, uh, so much of what he was bringing forth was just, oh my goodness. Uh, I had been praying before this meeting and I received this word. And then I'm hearing him teaching and I'm going like, oh, my goodness, <laughs> this, this is why I've, I've had this word. And, and what the Lord is, would say unto you is that I am a God who is off, off the chart when it comes to time, because I can make things happen in a split second. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm all about acceleration. And he mm. says, I am accelerating uh, to bring forth what you think would be impossible. And I love him, of course, she did. I'm going to make it possible because you looked at time constraints but i'm not a i don't have any time constraints and i am i am giving you this assignment right now and i'm going to say to you uh this is your mission if you should decide to accept uh this is your assignment <coughs> bring forth those things that you think are impossible into the possible Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I hear you, Lord. And, and there are no limits that you've been putting on time. Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You are going to see things speeding up now, accelerating beyond what you can even, you cannot even ask or think. Amen. 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 It's coming. It's Hallelujah. coming in so Hallelujah. many aspects of your life. Thank Take you, a Jesus. hold of this. And you will see that I am a God who has no limits. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am, so, <laughs> oh, I am so tired of dealing with primarily, well, some believers, but basically unbelievers who think they know God. Uh -huh. But they lowball him, they limit him because they determine, they, they define him according to worldly restraints. Right, right. So it's only supposed, mm -hmm. it has to take this amount of time to get to here, right. or it has to take this amount of money to buy this, mm -hmm. or you have to work umpteen jobs to get to that level. He does not operate like that. <laughs> Thank Amen. You, Becky, he doesn't operate like that. If he says, I catapult you from point A to point Z in an hour, so be it. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Woo. Acceleration. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank like, you, Jesus. Like that. Thank you, Lord. That was beautiful. Uh, Cindy? I wanted, yeah, I wanted to say, um, I guess I use this concept. I hadn't really thought about using it for myself, but um, when I hear of people that have died, probably alone, or um, <clears throat> to give a very specific example, you know, they, they say that they would dig up these old coffins and they'd see scratch marks inside because the person was buried alive and they didn't know that they thought they were dead. And I think, gosh, you know, just horrible to be alone. And, you know, it just horrific. And I've always, the idea of the Lord being outside of time, I said, Lord, go into that place and give them dying grace, give them yeah. comfort. Amen. Give Amen. Them, yes. Be there with them during yes. that time and just different things over the years but i hadn't really thought about my own trauma so this has been very educational um very uplifting and uh thank you brother fred sister sherry um and also uh i think ruth i can't see everybody let me look yes uh ruth is still on um sister i know that according to my calendar this is a uh reflective time of year for you. And as Brother Fred was sharing this message, I really have in my spirit that the message is one of the weapons of your warfare, that 
there are things that have happened that the Lord wishes to redeem. And these are tools for your future, your now, Amen. in regards to the past, but also strategies for how to fight. Because you have walked through some places that you are easily touched by what other people go through. And this, this tool that we've been given tonight, this, this grace, this empowerment by the spirit uh, is, is one of the major weapons of your warfare. I mean, and I just want to encourage you with that. And I also want to encourage you that I have been and will continue to be praying for you and your family during this time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate that. Thank you. Hallelujah. I want you Hallelujah. guys to meet the gift that God gave us after my brother um, passed. Tomorrow will be um, Enoch's one year anniversary of his passing. Um, and this is the gift that God has given us. He Hallelujah. is going to be two weeks old. He was born on August 6th. Uh -huh. And this is Leon Judah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted you guys to meet him. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Wait to see little Leon. And this is the blanket. Look at the um, this is, um prophetess. I don't know if you can see it, but this is the blanket that you had made with him for it with his name. Amen. <laughs> Baby so, Leon, thank you, I mean, thank you for your prayers. Thank you so much. I just have one request, if I may. A really, really great friend of mine, which is more like a sister, younger than me, um, has um, in, in, fell in the hospital this week with a um, a stroke, um, and they have kept her um, in a rehabilitation center um, to recover. And, and her name is Yvette. And if you could just please lift her up, I would very, 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 very much appreciate it. But um, Amen. for quick, quick healing. Thank Amen. you so much. Yes. Thank Amen. you so much. Amen. Father, right now we pray for Yvette. And we thank you for touching every muscle, every nerve, every part of her body and bringing total restoration. Lord, we say that what the, the adverse effects of this stroke uh, will not be seen. Uh, they have left, they have been burned up in the name of Jesus. And we thank you uh, for Yvette's total healing yes. in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. In with Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And also with uh, Michelle Cannon, I don't know if she's still with us or not. Oh, there you are. Okay. You had asked us all to, to pray for you and uh, the craziness there in, in LA and, and uh, Lord, we we thank you that you've got uh, Michelle Cannon in the palm of your hand. We thank you, Lord, that the angels surround her. Not only just just a, um, just angels of, of mercy, but I see warring angels around you. I see them with the swords in their hand uh, in the name of Jesus, fighting, fighting back uh, what the enemy has tried to do, has tried to bring um, in the name of Jesus. Uh, it shall not prosper against you. Uh, hallelujah. And I see, um, as, as Sister Becky gave that word about, about ordering your steps, I see your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace uh, in the name of Jesus. And wherever you go, you bring peace. Hallelujah. Uh, into adverse situations, into hostile situations, uh, in, in the area where they're uh, there is uh, persecution going on uh, that just your going into that place is going to bring peace yes. in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, also with her feet that the scripture about um, that you shall trample on serpents and scorpions and yeah. nothing shall by any means hurt you. Yes. Amen. Yes. Luke 10, and I 19. saw you surrounded round about uh, with a cloud and with fire. Amen. That the Lord Amen. is going to to be a constant protection around you in the midst of the chaos. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Excellent. Jesus. Excellent. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, there's someone um, that's that's listening tonight that that the Lord is going to let you smell his sweet fragrance. His sweet fragrance. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Once you smell it, uh, you will never forget it. It is sweeter than any rose that you have ever smelt. Uh, it is sweeter than than anything. And, and the Lord says, I'm going to bring that fragrance to you. And so believe him for that. Uh, believe uh, to, to smell the Lord. Uh, once you smell the Lord, uh, then that is just such a comfort and also just a um, experience with the Lord, encounter with the Lord. Um, Mary Ned, I, I, we call her Cherise, Cherise. Um, I believe that that the experiences of the Lord are going to increase with you, uh, that there's been so, so much carnality uh, that you've had to deal with uh, in the workplace and even in some other areas. But the Lord says that's going to fade away and that he is clothing you uh, with with his uh, not only his righteousness, you have on a robe of righteousness, but he's going to clothe you uh, with his glory and that you're going to step into another space uh, that you can rejoice in, uh, that you can feel his presence and that carnality, uh, which stinks, by the way, um, is going to fade away and, and leave you. And um, there's going to be, um, he's going to give you, um, you may have already had some dreams, but he's going to give you um, just a confirmation of his presence. Hallelujah. Amen. I receive that. I receive that. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Anyone else have something to bring forth tonight? Becky? Just, just to confirm what you gave right before you ministered to Sharice about, okay. the, about the fragrance of the Lord, because uh, from the very beginning of this meeting, I just had a strong sense of the fragrance of the Lord over this Hallelujah. entire group. Amen, yes. amen. And so th just to give a, a, a second amen to that, because I had had that, uh, his fragrance uh, just is all over you. All hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You so know, I just, I just wanted to share that there is so much confirmation in this, um, this teaching tonight. I want to tell you that uh, on Thursday night, I had a dear friend of mine um, prophesy over me. And the first words that came out of her, or her mouth from the Lord were, he's redeeming the time. Hallelujah. And she showed like there's a grandfather clock. And so when you said that, like, I was just like, Lord Jesus, what are you doing? Um, and so it just made me chuckle because I know that this is a season for me and for my two children that God is redeeming the time. And then when you said God has written a story about you, she had said that same exact thing as well. And I was like, Lord Jesus. And she had, she was letting me know that God has asked me to reach up to heaven and pull it down so that I could see the story that's laid out before me. And, um, there's many things that God has in the past, probably like four days has just laid on my heart, um, to ask God to dare to ask God to, um, restore what has been stolen to me and my children amen, amen. whether amen. it's finances whether it's um opportunities for me and my daughter or for my son or things like that and when you said a miracle is god invading the natural like um God is literally saying, this is how you need to do it, yes, you know yes. and i know my children have had trauma in their life whether I caused bits and pieces, but even from their father leaving them um, nine, and, nine and a half years ago. But either way, like this has just been so 
amazing, you know, because now I have tools to be able to help them and to just pour into them. And he yeah. has told me just even in the course of talking with my friend on Thursday that he is speeding up the time. He's speeding up the process of restoring. And I was like, I don't know what that looks like and stuff like that. So he's literally just giving me like, Hey, here's your blueprints. Now do it. So I mean, I I mean. To say thank you. And even so, uh, Wayne and Bernice and Jamie and Candace, we pray in the morning and the past, I don't know, it's been a couple of weeks, but we've been saying there is no limits ask yes. large and there's no limits of the holy spirit so i'm like all right Lord, i'm going big or else i'm gonna just stay here so every day i've just been declaring bigger than what i've ever asked um that mm -hmm. he would do and i love what rebecca had said about just you know i put a time limit i'm like hey lord i need you to do this in like a week and what she said to the group i was like okay lord you could do this in a day if you yeah. hallelujah so i'm asking you to do it in a day for the specific thing that's just between me and the lord about something and i'm like lord okay it's not too too small to ask so i mean i mean i mean i mean so hallelujah says so, ask and rethink Yes. And also Ruth, um, when I saw that little precious baby, um, the Lord has said that he is the arrow that you have been needing in your life. So I don't know what that means, but I just wanted to share that with you. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Yeah, like, it's, Hallelujah. Incredible. it's incredible because we, <laughs> just to confirm that, um, we just, I just, um, kind of the day after he was born, when he came home from the hospital, I have a little, um, I have my, my, my left ear, the top, the top of my ear is a little like tucked in and I looked at him and he has my same ear, the same ear, the same side. I mean, it's as though I, I know it sounds weird, but it's as though I gave birth to him. And it's um, it's been the greatest gift. Thank you, Amen. thank you for your prayers. Thank you for everything. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you know, we we have a uh, little baby Leon who is uh, I call him little baby lion, and uh, he's going to roar. And then yes, we've got yes. we've got uh, baby Aiden, uh, which is uh, the little fiery one, and he's going to show forth the fire of God in the name yes. of Jesus. Hallelujah. And then we've got little baby Luke that belongs to Lucy and he is going, he has healing already in his hands. And so praise the name of Jesus Amen. for the next generation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, it says, uh, okay. Uh, from, uh, from crazy fire up there, it says uh, you have a song. No, I was saying that that's the song that I heard also, the Lion of Judah for Ruth. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, my Hell God. Hell, Lion you of have Judah. No yes. idea. Luna sings that every day. Luna yeah, amen. Sings. Amen. The, the um, Elevation. We, we love song. that song. Hallelujah. Yeah, elevation song, Lion of Judah. She sings it every day, every day. <laughs> oh, my God. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. I do have a oh. note. A word yes, for baby. crazy for crazy fire okay <laughs> um my daughter i would say unto you that i have um tied you to me you you are tied to me mm -hmm. and, and and in that that connection that we have i have tied on you uh my servanthood i have girded you mm -hmm. You are girded uh, to follow me and to, and I am, and I am just be expecting that I'm ordering your steps uh, to serve and I will be showing you places to serve and I am already using you to serve. And as much as you are serving your children, just know that I, the Lord, have taken care of you and you are tied to me, to my goodness, um, and mm -hmm. are one and in that connection know that you are girded to do the assignment i have for you and i assure you that i will have equipped you to do it 
Amen. 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 Wonderful. Hallelujah. Wonderful. I speak over every one of you that the Lord is imparting into each and every one of you uh, his abundance, his prosperity, his revelation, his wisdom, uh, his goodness, uh, his love, uh, his fierceness. He is imparting all of those things into you that you might go forth and do his will in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Well, this has been such a wonderful time tonight. And we'll be back with you in two weeks, even though it is the Sunday uh, night before Labor Day the next day. But we're going to labor to enter into his rest. Amen. <laughs> and we're going to, to be here. And whoever can join us, uh, that would be uh, great. And so I hope to see you back in two weeks. Uh, the Lord bless and keep you. Yes, make his face to shine upon you yes, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We love you. Love you. Love you. Thank love you. Bye-bye. You. Bye-bye. Thank, thank, thank you. God thank bless you. you all. Thank you. Love Bye. you. Love Hallelujah. Everybody. Love you.